A giant tank with wind tunnels and wave machines is one of the world's most advanced ocean atmosphere simulators, and it's right here in our backyard. Researchers hope the groundbreaking machine will help answer critical questions about our planet and its health. I'm introducing you to the machine called SOARS in today's Earth 8 report. Just steps from the waves at UCSD Scripps Institution of Oceanography stands a decades-old redwood structure where groundbreaking research is replicating ocean conditions just outside. So this is where all the magic happens, right? This is the operations room. This is where we control all the various bits of instrumentation that make up SOARS. Grand Dean, a research oceanographer at Scripps, has spent 25 years studying seafoam. His research focused on its role in reflecting light into space and producing sea spray aerosols. It also creates these tiny little droplets called sea spray aerosol. And those tiny particles go up, up into the atmosphere and they change the way clouds are formed. SOARS, a massive 36 thousand gallon tank provides a close-up view of these processes, something he says satellites simply cannot do. It's also helped researchers study the lasting effects of rising carbon dioxide levels. And we know that it, it cycles over a year, but it's steadily going up. That carbon dioxide acidifies the ocean. It makes it slightly more acidic. What is that carbon dioxide going to do to the biology? What's it going to do to the ocean? And what's it going to do to the weather? With 120 feet of space and a $4 million price tag, SOARS is the only instrument that can simulate ocean conditions from the polar earth to the tropics. We can make storms, we can make sea ice, we can grow organisms in the ocean. SOARS has four climate modes, including polar, wind wave, aerosol, and biological, helping scientists better understand the ocean atmosphere boundary, the thin region where ocean meets air. And you can see with, with the hurricane force conditions, this population, you were noting it, it really builds up. Scientists from all over the world book time to use it, testing everything from sea ice to autonomous gliders. People come in from Poland, they want to make sea ice, they come in for a week or two. Coastal engineers have also used SOARS to model hurricanes, helping design a concept for a larger simulator to test entire buildings. It turns out that there are things you can do to buildings, simple things you can do to buildings, to make them resistant to the forces of the winds and the waves. Dean says understanding these ocean atmosphere interactions has far-reaching implications. And how does SOARS help the next generation of scientists? Well, we are unraveling the secrets of this boundary. How important is biology? How does biology impact human health in the oceans and the coastline? What happens in storms? Can we understand and predict better hurricanes? These are the kinds of questions that we're uh, addressing with this machine. We need to know for them what, what, what is happening today that's going to influ influence them 20 years from now, because it's all connected. Mm -hmm.